here to my local Walmart because I want to begin to start talking about packages and how we can begin to uh, focus on everyday carry items that we can keep on our person, like in our cars and stuff like that. So, here we go. I'm at Walmart, and for this price, this is one of the basic bags that I recommend. Now, my choice just happens to be military green, but let's look at this guy first. Let's look at the price. There it is. Okay. And now, I like this bag because it has a lifetime guarantee. Uh, it's called the Quest Day Pack. Okay, and you notice the straps in the front. Those are mil military style straps. They call them Molly, and you can add other attachments onto it. I'm going to go into this a little further in just a minute. Now, this pack all comes in green, gray, navy blue. It used to come in black, but they don't come in black anymore. All my personal tack gear happens to be black, but I have some green gear too. So let's walk on over to the island, see some of the supplies that we can use to put in this thing. All right. Okay, we're gonna take a quick look at the pack. Uh, let's see, you got a zipper in the front. You got a small compartment in the front. Uh, you got a water compartment on the side where you can stick something aside. You still got these Molly straps uh, in the top. You have like an, it's like for our eyeglasses and things of that nature. I usually keep like flashlights and stuff in there and it's got like a suede covering so you can put like glasses and things inside there hold on one second okay i just flip this open and here is the inside of the pack it's got uh pockets and straps you know one one big pocket here okay big pocket here and it's got some compartments in the front Got a little space down in there. Uh, all right, and it's got some zipper. It's got a big zipper pouch in the front. All right, and when you go to the top, let me open this up. Up the second pouch, you have uh, a big open. I mean, when I go to the second pouch, you have a big open area. And you have a uh, hydrate room for a hydration bladder. Or you can use that as a pouch. But flip this up on either side. And you can run your hydration bladder through right here. Or on this side. So you can stick your finger, stick your hydration bladder. Uh, I was going to take it right through that hole, and that's how that works. All right, let's talk about some basic stuff to begin to put into the pack. Since I'm at Walmart, we're going to start here. Okay, now we're just talking basic stuff, so look here. You got a, a basic knife, just a cutter, $1.97. Um, you got little inexpensive things. You got a survival, a whistle with some cord on it. And it's got a couple other things inside. You got a whistle right here of $3.97. You know, I'm going to talk about some of the things that I have. Like, for $12, this is one of the things that I highly recommend and I use. It's a survival watch. And it comes with power cord. And, you know, you got your basic digital watch. But when you flip it over on the back, it's got a fire starter. And it's got a whistle right here it's a fire starter and a whistle uh the flint apparatus you switch it around and the flint is actually here um okay one of the other things that i highly recommend one of the other things i highly recommend is a multi-tool some kind of 
multi-tool. This one happens to be $9.97, but a lot of times you can get just a basic multi-tool to do simple multiple tasks. All right, everybody should have a multi-tool. A lot of times during holidays, they have sales on the multi-tools. All right, one of my favorite things to have in my backpack is a basic flashlight. I like this one by Bushnell. It's a uh, 350 lumens. It's, it comes with two flashlights. It's got a, a big one, a big tactical flashlight, and it comes with a little metal flashlight. I just happen to like those. Another particular set that I like is for 982. You get a bunch of these little flashlights, and I have them all over. I have one of these, and I have them all over the place. But they come with the batteries to go in them. All right, so this is my choice. Got to never have enough light. Uh, another choice is like these little flashlights. These are a dollar, dollar piece, and yeah, these little flashlights that come in multicolors, and you could just stick it on your keychain or keep it in your vehicle or wherever you need. You know, there's a bunch of different style uh, flashlights here at uh, varying prices. You know, because I like to have little things that I don't use immediately, I go for the least expensive thing that I can. Here's another thing that I like. These little things. What happens is that when you pull this tab, the light comes on, but you can basically clip this on to like your baseball cap or whatever you're using. And this is a light and you flip it right onto the brim of your cap. All right, I'm over here on this side. The other thing, they have little reusable hand warmers. This is, oh, let's see. That's another thing that I keep on me is this Stanley cooker cup. It's 15 bucks, but this basically sits in the bottom of my bag and you can start a fire and heat it up and Let's see what's inside this thing. When you take the top off, uh, you got a plastic cup in it. Hold on. Okay, you take the lid off this thing. Got some instructions in here. And let's flip it over. It's got like two cups in it. Like really thick plastic cups that you can put hot stuff in. And you can basically stick this over a fire if you need to it's got a little measuring uh, situation in there here's something else that I highly recommend it's only three dollars this is an emergency blanket now if you look at it when it's folded up in my hand you see it takes up no space at all but it can cover your body and it can keep you from going into shock Okay, most of the time when EMS come and they do a rescue, this is the first thing that they'll put around you to either keep you dry or just keep you warm. You know, for about eight bucks, here's also a small reflex tent made of a similar material, something that you can keep on you too. Like I said, look at the size of my hand. I got a pretty sizable hand, but I'm just saying a whole tent that you can get inside, you know, will fit in a box the size of your hand. That's something else that you can look into now. Here, for 11 bucks, like I said, look at my hand. And you see how big the box is. This is another, like, survival-type blanket. You know, like I said, I'm always looking for the bargain and the different things that I can do um, to try and get something to have my back, but at the same time, save a little money. All right. All right, I moved over in the aisle because another thing I want to talk about in your everyday pack is knee pads. Now look, basic, really cheap set of knee pads, just in case you got any knees. It's about five bucks for the set. Okay, uh, who's this? This is something, you know, it depends on what you prefer. You know, but a good set of knee pads and elbow pads, I think it's worth every penny that you spend on it. These are another good set. Let me see. These are about $14 for a pair. Okay. 
but these are just basic, you know, carpenter knee pads. Who makes these? And these are about 15 bucks for a pair. I have some, uh, in my everyday pack, I have a set of elbow pads and a set of knee pads to go along with them, just in case I have to get down on my hands and knees in an urban area or stay there for a while. That's just an option. Get my favorite counter, the gun counter. Like I said, look at, uh, I told you you need a knife. Look at the offerings, different kind of offerings that you have, about four bucks. Four bucks for knives. Different kinds and they're falling all over the place. All right, just to give you an idea. All right. Multi-tools, as I told you, you need a good everyday multi-tool. Look at the different prices on the multi-tools. Okay. Okay. And the different knives, choices in knives that you can go for. Now just to show you another alternative to the backpacks that I was talking about, I want you to see this. This is similar to the other one that I showed you. But I'm just flipping it open and you look, see there's not very much offerings in there, right? Very much of an offering in there. But let's look at the price. 40 bucks. And I showed you one for 24 bucks. It's got a lot more pockets in it and things. So just to show you how you can save on some stuff. All right. One of the other things that I think you should have is a good first aid kit. Now, we see one here for 20 bucks. Okay, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to do another video, and I'm going to show you how I put together my own um, first aid kit with items that are relevant to me and the things that I know and the things that I use. But you have different things like the pouches, like they have basic first aid kits, like these kind of prices. But I'm going to use some other items, and I'm going to show you some other options that you may have. Now, one of my favorite things in the whole wide world is paracord. Okay, paracord is like seven bucks for paracord. You know, in my vehicle, one of the things I carry around with, I have at least a hatchet just in case I have to put in some work. And I always have carbiners, at least two. When I show you my pack, I'm going to show you the contents of my pack. But these are some of the things that I highly recommend. All right, I always have carbiners. I like them. Okay, now, I just wanted to say something real quick about knives. I showed you a knife for $197. Then we have another one for about 8 bucks. There's another one. And then we go into my favorite section, and I'll show you some more expensive choices. But remember, the more you pay, the better quality usually. Here's another good thing that you have for about four bucks. They have a little knife and fork set if you ever have to go in on it. But for now, we're just going to go on the basic everyday carry kind of stuff. All right. 